always happy to see our man behind the bar, Gerald, and I believe a big kombucha man. Is that right? I was part of the kombucha culture dust. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. But I want to... Something that's pickling my fancy today is ginger <laughs> in relation to morning sickness. What actually causes morning sickness, GQ? Well, first of all, you've got to be pregnant. <laughs> yeah, Bianca, which but, I'm not. <laughs> but the, it really is nausea and vomiting whilst you're pregnant. So nausea and vomiting during pregnancy. It's a dreadful issue and we don't really know why it happens and, and so many things. It could be blood pressure that moves up and down, blood sugar that moves up and down, hormones that move up and down. Not everybody gets it. Half to two-thirds of women who are pregnant. But the challenge is that it can actually last and come and go and it can be quite debilitating. So it can happen at any time, not just during the pretty early well. stages? Yes, pretty well. Normally, and often it's a way of, of people saying, well, I think I'm pregnant because I'm quite nauseous in the morning and it can yeah. often be a sign. So then how do you overcome it? A few things. Vitamin B6 is the specific nausea, not so much vomiting, but nausea nutrient. So looking at B6 rich foods, right. um, and there's plenty of those, eggs and meat uh, of all sorts have plenty of B6. And the herb of choice is ginger, uh, Bianca, which has got a component called 6-gingerol, works on the tummy muscles, settles nausea down. Bearing in mind that this is the sort of thing that you take all the way through. You don't just suddenly decide okay, to take so it. so you take it the whole it's time. It's a preventer as well, yes. Yeah. So, and we know it can be really debilitating mm. for those ex expected mums. Mm -hmm. So what happens if you can't stomach a pill? Well, then you might move to a powdered combination okay. of a pregnancy multi uh, that you can mix with water. And then you're getting the benefits of hydration as well as the B6 ginger and other things that we know are important. And what about dehydration? Because that can sort of change things, can't it? And, and that's one of the things we look at. So small meals more often, Bianca, yep. staying away from fatty, greasy, spicy foods, trying to minimise the smell of food because sometimes just walking into a kitchen with the smell yes, of food have heard is enough to trigger the whole yeah, thing. Right. So they're the sorts of things we try and minimise. Yes, and eat lots of ginger. Yes, ginger whenever <laughs> you want to. And what about the best way expectant mums can take care of themselves? Well, look after yourself. Small meals, hydrate well. All of those things that, that probably mums and grandmas can advise. Got good uh, sources of advice. But it's a matter of just seeing your way through, take the B6 and ginger together. Life is good. Thanks, GQ. I've learnt a lot today. <laughs> that was the A to Z of vitamins brought to you by NutriCare Pregma Plus, the only multi-stage soluble supplement to support your pregnancy journey.